Good morning. Mike Mazzalongo here for BibleTalk.tv. Today, I would like to talk about the need to give God 100% and why we should not be afraid of doing so. To illustrate this point, I've chosen the story of one of Israel's kings who learned why it was important to give God your all. This king's name was Asa. After the death of Solomon, Israel became a divided country with kingdoms in the northern and southern parts of the country who were either at war with each other or sometimes allied against other countries. Both north and south had their own kings. During one of these conflicts, the northern king attacked the southern king and started to mount a blockade that prevented people from going into or leaving the south. The king of the southern kingdom at that time was a man named Asa. The Bible says that Asa was a pretty good king, but his one problem was that he never gave God 100%. He always held back. Now, when Asa saw that he was being blockaded by the northern kingdom, he entered into an arrangement with the leaders of what is now called Syria to attack the northern kingdom. He paid for this military help by selling off the gold and silver from God's temple in Jerusalem. This strategy worked, and as a result, the northern kingdom gave up the blockade. However, Asa, in winning the battle with the enemy, lost the war in the eyes of God. In the book of 2 Chronicles, we see what God says to Asa through the prophet Hanani about his solution to the problem. The passage reads as follows. At that time, Hanani, the seer, came to Asa, king of Judah, and said to him, Because you have relied on the king of Aram and have not relied on the Lord your God, therefore the army of the king of Aram has escaped out of your hand. Were not the Ethiopians and the Lubim an immense army with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet because you relied on the Lord, he delivered them into your hand. For the eyes of the Lord move to and fro throughout the earth that he may strongly support those whose heart is completely his. You have acted foolishly in this. Indeed, from now on, you will surely have wars. Second Chronicles chapter 16, verses 7 to 9. Here, the prophet rebukes the king because instead of relying on God for victory, instead of putting 100% of his heart into God's hands, he trusted foreign mercenaries to do the job. Hanani reminds him of former kings who were in similar situations who chose to trust God and thus won great victories. In the next verse, he gives Asa two reasons why he should have trusted God 100%. First, God sees perfectly. His eyes see into every heart and situation. He weighs all the options. God makes no mistakes. If you're experiencing something or facing something, it is not because of divine error. Asa's problem with the North was completely in God's view and control. God had a solution, but Asa did not ask for it. Reason number two to trust God 100% was the following. God not only supports, he strongly supports, verse 9b. I think there's a relationship here between how much we trust God and how much help we get. The verse says that strong support goes to the ones who strongly trust in God. God helped Asa. He managed to avert the crisis by using the foreign armies. But had he completely trusted God, he would have won a complete victory over the enemy instead of a partial one. As it was, his lack of devotion was reflected in his ongoing trouble with this nation he could have defeated once and for all had he trusted completely in God. Instead, he settled for a partial and temporary victory. So, what part of your heart have you given to the Lord? Perhaps a better question would be, what part are you still holding back? Maybe the incomplete victories, obstacles, stress, and unhappiness in your life can be traced to that portion of your heart that you still have not given to God. To my knowledge, no one in the Bible who went all in for God was ever disappointed. I pray that God will bless you completely as you give him 100% of your faith, hope, and love. Discussion questions. Number one, share a time when you held back from the Lord. What were the results? Number two, 
With all the evidence of his love around us, why do we hold back in giving him 100%? Number three, aside from Jesus and the apostles, who is your hero of faith in the New Testament? Why? 